The human race is under a cloud. The future hangs in the balance. The hope of humanity lies back in the story of the greatest race ever run. Not that far back. Okay, stop. Let's start there. The greatest race started with the opening ceremony. Like all opening ceremonies, there was a fanfare and someone was flying and the crowd wasn't really sure what was going on. The closing ceremony is yet to come, but leaked plans suggest we'll see a million trumpets and the biggest medal presentation ever. That flying man is called Jesus. Look at him go. He's the coach, but more importantly, he's God and Saviour. He coached a team of young nobodies for three years. They learned his methods and practiced his moves. He lived for them. He died for them. And then, high on a hill, he said, Go! And soon after, the race really began. Peter started the race. In the preseason, he used to mess up, but this time he was brilliant. With many others, he preached the gospel, made disciples and transformed an empire. It was world changing. Average people, forgiven and new, now living for Jesus in his kingdom. And what started with 12 disciples became 500, then thousands, then millions. God and people working together. The gates of hell itself could not stop it. Which brings us to today. The great race needs a new generation of runners, prepared and disciplined. But to learn how to win the human race, we need to learn how to win the human race. Right. If you want to know how to win this, look no further than the great runners of the past. Josiah. Faithfully obey the Lord. Joshua. Be strong and courageous. Samson. Huh? Jesus. If your iPhone causes you to sin, throw it away. It starts in the blocks. Get your feet on the firm footing. Bible ready. It moves to your eyes. Look straight down the track. The goal of the good news of Jesus. Gospel set. Launch from the blocks with passion and fire. Go! Make disciples in every country, every city. Local churches are learning that sport helps us discover how to serve people where they live, work and play. The running fire of the early disciples is being ignited all over the world. Children and young people are leading the race. New champions proclaim the good news of Jesus in sports teams as professional players and as coaches. They're being disciples and making disciples, living in the ways of the kingdom and not of the world. They're growing the local church, working as teams and living as servants under the headship of Jesus. Following the Bible, they're building unity within the body of Christ. As the Bible says, since we have such a great cloud of witnesses, let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Let us keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. He is the starter and the finisher of the race. For the future of humanity does hang under a cloud, but what a cloud it is. So keep